Hello, I am Mr. Murphy, and in this video, we are finally going to wrap up uh, our power standard number 12. There's, this is the fourth video in that uh, power standard, because the power standard as a whole is asking us to graph a parabola using the individual pieces that we've looked at in the previous uh, three videos. So today we're going to look at, in this video, how to graph using the vertex, how to graph along with the uh, equation for the line of symmetry, along with the x-intercepts and possibly even the y-intercept. So let's review what's gotten us to this point. So again, this is our equation uh, for a parabola in vertex form, y minus k equals a times x minus h squared. You can see that we uh, have here the vertex. Remember, the vertex is the equation, or is the coordinate h, k, and the axis of symmetry then uses that vertex, and the axis of symmetry, remember, is an equation in the form x equals h. Remember, it's always going to be an equation because we're looking at a line of symmetry, which is going to be, for a parabola, it's going to be a vertical line, and a vertical line is always in the form x equals some number. And then we looked at how to find the x-intercepts. Remember, the x-intercepts, those are coordinates as well. And those are going to be coordinates in the form where x is some number and y is always 0. So to find the x-intercept, we replace y with 0. And then we looked at the y-intercept. And the y-intercept, remember, is um, also a coordinate. And it's in the form where x is 0 and y is some number. So in other words, to find the x-intercept, we um, replace x with 0 and use that to figure out what that value for y would be. Now, how do all these pieces fit together? Well, let's take a look and see. If you look on the right here, this purple point down here would represent your uh, vertex. And if we had our x-intercepts, these red points, we would graph those. Now, if I knew the y-intercept, this point up here, we could reflect that over that line of symmetry to find out what the uh, another point would be on the on the parabola. And now if you notice I have a total of five points here which is always a good goal to have because if you have five points you can be pretty sure that the graph is going to be uh, pretty accurate. And so now my last step would be to connect those points to make my parabola. And that's what we're going to be doing in these examples. So let's take a second to look at this first example. The example here is uh, for the equation y plus 8 equals 2 times x minus 5 being squared. This is actually an equation that we've looked at in one of the previous videos where we found these individual pieces. So in order to graph it, again, we're going to have to first find out what is the vertex. Remember, the vertex is uh, the coordinate h and k. And recall from that previous uh, video where we found the vertex, you had to find uh, the x value of the vertex. We take the opposite of what happens to the, fi or what happens to the x, which in this case is a positive 5. If I have a negative 5 there, the opposite of that would be a positive 5. And to find the y value or the k portion of your vertex, we look at the y, and we take the opposite of what's happening to that. So here we have plus 8, so the opposite of that would be a negative 8. So my vertex would be at the coordinate where x is 5, y is negative 8, which would be down here. Next, we're going to find the equation for that line of symmetry. That line of symmetry is going to be the equation x equals my x value, or the h of my vertex, which is going to be 5. And so my line of symmetry is going to look like that. And now if you notice, when I graph this line of symmetry, I use a dashed line. The reason being is because it's just using, we're going to be using that a little later if we need to reflect any points. But technically, it is not something that we would see as part of our parabola. The next thing we would do is find the x-intercepts. So remember, to do that, what we did is we replaced y with 0. And the solution when you replace y with 0 is going to be uh, 7 is one of your x-intercepts that we got, and 3 was the other. 
meaning we have two coordinates here, the coordinates 7, 0, and 3, 0. So we would graph 7, 0, we would graph 3, 0. And you can see now that our parabola is starting to come together. The next step would be to find the y-intercept. And if you find the y-intercept, again, that's where you're going to replace uh, x with 0. But the problem here is when you find the y-intercept for this particular example, we end up getting the coordinate where x is 0, y is 42. And if you see, that's not going to fit on our graph. So there's got to be something else that we can do to find, because uh, remember I said that we want to find a total of five points. I have three, so I need two more. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up an x-y table. Now the nice thing is, is we don't have to do a huge x-y table because we're only looking for, in reality, we only need to find one more point because if I find another point, the whole reason for this axis or this line of symmetry is for me to be able to reflect points over it. And so I'm going to pick a point that's close to that line of symmetry for x. And I'm not going to use 3 or 7 because I already know those coordinates. So I'm going to use either 4 or 6 for x. Let's use 4. And I'm going to put 4 in my equation for x. So I would have y plus 8 equals 2 times, again, I'll replace x with 4 minus 5 squared. I'm going to solve this equation. So to do that, again, I follow order of operations. 4 minus 5 is a negative 1. When I square negative 1, I get a positive 1. Multiply that times 2, and I get 2. But right, so right now, I would have y plus 8 equals 2 on the right side. But I want to figure out what y equals, so I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides, and so I get y is negative 6. So when I put 4 in my equation, I get negative 6 as my answer. So that's going to be one of my other coordinates. So I'm going to graph that. And again, this whole point of this line of symmetry is that if I know one point on one side, it should reflect to be in the same spot on the other side. So here I have, uh, this is one unit to the left of the line of symmetry, so I'm going to reflect it. So there's another point, one unit to the right of the line of symmetry. And now I have enough, I have one, two, three, four, five points. I have enough uh, points here to be able to graph my parabola. And so my parabola will look something like that. Okay, I want you to take a minute now and graph this next parabola. So I want you to graph this one where y plus 9 equals x minus 4 quantity squared. You're going to need to find the vertex, the line of symmetry, the x-intercepts, and the y-intercept. And again, if you don't know how to find any of those things, you don't want to go back and watch the previous videos uh, in regards to either the vertex or the x-intercepts or the y-intercept. So go ahead and find all those things, graph it, uh, pause the video when you're finished, and you can hit play when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, let's see how you did here. So first off, the vertex, you can see there the vertex is going to be a positive 4 and a negative 9. So if you graph that, do this here. Okay, if you graph that, 4, negative 9 is going to be down here. That means that the line of symmetry is going to be the equation x equals 4. So we will have a dashed line. Just again, as we use that as a reference, uh, if we need to reflect any points over that. Next, we're going to find the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts here, you should have gotten as a coordinates would be 7, 0, and 1, 0. If you graph those, 7, 0, and 1, 0 would be here. Another way to check those to make sure you're doing them right right now is you should see that they should be symmetrical. So here we have 7, 0 is 3 units to the right of that line of symmetry. 1, 0 is also 3 units uh, to the left of that line of symmetry. So, so far, so good. And lastly, your y-intercept, when you graph or when you uh, plug 0 in for x, you should have gotten the coordinate 0, 7. And if you notice, in this case, unlike the other parabola we did, 0, 7 does fit on this grid. And so the nice thing is, is if I want to find a fifth point, I'm just going to take that y-intercept and reflect it over that line of symmetry. So to do that, if you notice, the y-intercept is 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the left of the line of symmetry. So I'm going to put another point, 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the right of that line of symmetry. And so finally now we can graph this parabola by connecting all these points. So 
So my parabola would look something like that. Well, that's it. That's uh, um, power standard number 12. It's taken us a long uh, time to get to this point. It took us a lot of individual steps. This is a pretty big, pretty large uh, power standard. But hopefully, after watching these videos, you have a better understanding now of how to complete that process of graphing a parabola using all those individual parts.